I think I'm going to make me some fried chicken. What Benson doesn't know is how quickly things can go wrong. Who said that? Where's that voice coming from? Whoa! Fire! <laughs> this happened in my friend's house. Maybe that's why he lives in the woods with me now. Benson needs to get this fire out quickly. Why do you think I grabbed the fire extinguisher? What he hasn't realized is that extinguisher unfortunately doesn't work. All right, fine then, Mr. Voice in the Woods. What do you expect me to do now? All right, Benson, before this fire gets out of control, let me show you what you should have done. All right, first thing we need to do is grab this fire blanket, pull it out, and now we're gonna lay it on top of the fire and turn off the heat source, just like that. And make sure you leave it on the fire until the fire goes completely out. That's pretty cool. And I bet since we don't have powder everywhere, we could still eat the chicken. Well, I mean, there is a lot less mess to clean up, but it's up to you if you want to eat the chicken or not. Yeah, and I bet the blanket's now melted to everything. We're gonna have to scrub it off, aren't we? Nope, just a black spot on the blanket where the fire was. And a good thing is we didn't burn the whole kitchen down. Yo! That blanket is fire. Actually, Benson, it's anti-fire. Now, honestly, me and Benson had a lot of fun shooting this little thing, but in truth, the fabric here, there's no damage to it. I mean, it doesn't feel any different. I don't know why you couldn't fold it back up and use it again. You know, hopefully you didn't have to use it the first time but you could use this for campfires, you could use it for anything that you needed to smother out as long as you can put it on top of it safely. That's the biggest thing because if you were to try to flip it out and lay it on it, you may get the flames to come back to you. So just laying it on top of it and then just leaving it, let it be until the fire's out. Now they did send this to me so that I could try the product out. They're not paying me. They're not any of that. So this is actual, you know, us having fun out here, but using the product as it was intended. And like you saw the second time I did this, I actually put a decent amount of fuel on here to see what would happen. And I, I am impressed with this stuff. There is a link, it's an affiliate link that's in the description below. And truthfully, I don't see why you can't, this, the good thing about this is like with a fire extinguisher, once you pull the trigger, you've got a mess to clean up. But with this, there's no mess. You could practice with the kids. So say you've got a younger child who might be a little afraid of what to do. You could run through this as like a monthly practice scenario. So that way the family, the kids, everybody knows what to do in case something goes wrong. And you're not going to damage the material by doing that. So as far as a safety rating, I give this a strong one. I'm not part of the fire department or anything like that, but for ease of operation, for the ability to teach the kids what to do, and it being a no cost situation where you don't have to go buy another fire extinguisher, I really like this guys. So as far as me supporting it, this has got my vote hands down, all right? Give it a try. It is an affiliate link. I do make a small amount, a small amount of money if you purchase it, but I highly recommend this, all right? So now that we've done with our little fun stuff, let's get back to the brisket because it is done, it is ready, and I am hungry. Hey! Excuse us, we're recording out here. Bye-bye! <laughs>